know, it's another name I can't pronounce, but thank you. Hey guys, here's a family that's united. Asriel, at least go say goodbye to them. They don't even know you were there. They never call Metaton, or the ghost that Metaton was, female. Fun historical fact, pink used to be a boy's only color because it was related to red, and red was too strong and masculine to be associated with girls. tragedy in a really tragic family. Shiren's body is her talent aid. I I need to find Shiren. I don't think I saw her. I love this lounging cow and like lounging cow jammies. <laughs> Be on my head this time. Oh. oh, I didn't talk to you before. Yes, no, I did, didn't I? <laughs> you can go to the surface, you know. Okay. monster too? <gasps> I did talk to the snowman. And I am! I'm, I'm Toriel. See, I've got my delta rune. Um, oh, 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 shao share. Thank you for the follow. I didn't know! Okay, so the the ghosts, or the goats rather, not the ghosts. The goats and the ghosts are very different. The goats are boss monsters. Okay. Brother. 
Lady, you're a little strange. She is actually really cool. No, she's not just mean! <laughs> but I'm sure Papyrus would be really happy. So I don't know if it's real or not, but I saw some sort of a Halloween screenshot thing. And it had all of them dressed up in costumes, and that's really great. Lesser dog, are you not related to all of the other dogs? Fake? Okay. And I really liked it, though. Curly Brace! Hey! Somebody here has good taste in video games. Man. That game is way too hard for me, but I really enjoy it, and the ending is really good. That's okay, I never have a joke. I'm glad I can talk to the wolf friend. Jimmy Hot Pants! Oh my god! They want to call themselves Jimmy Hot Pants. Alright, Ice Wolf. You're pretty great.
harsh but true. Yeah, that one, it hurts because it's true. Wait, Doggo has a definition? I love his race car bed. It's so great. Sexy robots. Oh, I should show you guys at some point. Um, Nick, Nick Tune in chat, um, my mod was at a museum recently and they had something on robots and so it had like draw your picture of your favorite robot and somebody drew that it's on this is very exciting to me it's everywhere we're everywhere that's papyrus right there <laughs> Chrono. That's a nice little detail about the name. <clears throat> I like data. I'm a definitely a next generation girl. Um, we weren't allowed to, to talk when the next generation was on, except during. Um, commercial breaks because my mom is a Trekkie. Doppelganger foxhound? Are you telling me you're not a Trekkie? Hey, the button presser! Wait, this is... Oh, I'm gonna get lost again, aren't I? And there's not even any people to talk to. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think... Yeah, Toriel stopped sending messages. I don't know that I ever found the secret here. I was really confused by it. Like, I looked here, and I was like, check wall, and then check wall, up, and I was like, I have no idea what that means. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess I did solve it. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Ignore me. I think I might go to Waterfall with the boat. Actually, okay, no, I'm asking you guys. Should I keep walking back through here or should I take the boat to Waterfall? So that I know where I can go. This is why people are like, you've got 10 minutes left of this. Why are you leaving off your stream last week? And I was like, hey, I'm really tired. And it actually really upset me to play the game and be tired. And I feel like I missed out on like the full emotional impact of what was happening last session because I wasn't feeling so great. Okay, everybody thinks I should. Pelly Candle, thanks for the follow. Okay, well, we're gonna go back to the boat. Because I know where that is. Oh, 
Also, whoever said that I only had 10 minutes later didn't. That's okay, the tea. Thank you for staying up really late to uh, help mod my channel. Yeah, if you were watching the last stream and you saw me fighting Azrael and you're like, man, Laura's doing so well fighting this guy. Look at her dodging all those bullets. And then, like, I died a couple of times. And then all of a sudden, like, it's like Lauren is suddenly terrible at dodging bullets. Um, I'd been sick and I was really tired. And there was just a point. You can, like, see it on my face. My face just, like, fell. So. Ten minutes was a lie. Or somebody who doesn't know how I play games. Sure. Fairy person. Running doggy boat. Cake is not a lie when I'm around. Cake is real. I would love to sing with you. Yeah, I used up all my spoons. It actually wasn't a using up spoons kind of situation, fortunately. It was just plain being tired. Or maybe not actually, because I seriously couldn't sleep for three hours after last last week's stream. So it was like way past my bedtime. And I'm like up late because I'm upset because I felt like I'd kind of blew, blown the ending emotionally. And then I was also like, what's going on with Azrael? I need to know. But people helped me. And then I was like, oh, that is a million times worse than I thought. I did make butterscotch cinnamon pie, but I did make butterscotch cinnamon um, bars. <coughs> um, I left them at work. I brought the leftovers to work. Um, but I made a cinnamon shortbread, and then I made homemade butterscotch to put on top. I was going to bring them to MAGFest, but I don't think they'll travel very well. Um, so I'm going to try again, because I want to bring butterscotch cinnamon something. They turned out pretty well, though. Yay! Oh my god. God. Yes, I will absolutely go to Hotland. <laughs> Ouch, aren't you supposed to be her friend? Does that say Big Bird? Big... I think it says Big Bird. The poster? Yeah, I'm, so I'm going to... I'm going to make an Undertale dinner party. Arjun Thorne, thank you! I'm gonna have an Undertale dinner party whenever Foxhound gets back to Austin, um, probably, because he's said that he'll help me with it. Um, then I'm gonna stream the cooking of it, and then, oh, it does say Big Burb, sort of, doesn't it? <coughs> but, um, and I'm gonna cook all the things in tutorial, and I'm gonna make all my friends dress up like Undertale characters, and it's gonna be so much fun. But, we have to figure that out first. My friends are all a little bit obsessed with this game. Right, to Sparrow? Oh no! No, Fluky! It's okay, Fluky! Oh, I would give you a hug if I could, Fluky. See, it's naps to Bluke. Uh, it's a music sharing forum. See, I see what you did there, Toby Fox. Merely a fridge. I love Metaton's design. He's so cool looking. I feel bad about this because the house is sad. It's okay. I understand. My friends, half of my friends are streamers. <laughs> They're all nerds. A bunch of them are... We're, I mean, we're in a video game cover band together, so... Yeah, no, it is really interesting how much Metaton managed to win me over. <coughs> oh, Fang, that is a good, bad pun. I love it's the desperate claw marks that will never not be bad. Oh, Onion Sand! I need to go find Onion Sand! How do I get there? That way. Hi, Arjun Thorn. 
good. I'm I'm dressed as Toriel, see? Sorry, I know you guys are probably tired of that, but I'm really excited about this costume. <laughs> oh, the despair is so good. So... So... When Alphys was standing here looking into the void in despair... Now that I have the context, knowing that she had kind of messed up a whole lot of things trying to do the right thing, which is definitely the theme of serious characters in the game. Was she depressed? Or was she suicidal? Because I worry about that girl. <coughs> One of my friends said he just sent Tammy to college, um, and we didn't tell me what it did, so maybe I'll do that next play. That's kind of what I figured. I was thinking about it after the fact, and I was like, wait, it's Washua! You're still pretty great, Washua. So, the yellow flowers that show up to, to, to soften your fall, like, are those the other flowers that had a little tiny bit of Azrael's essence? So, they had some of the goodness? But not enough to really come back. Because it really feels like the flowers have a mind of their own, and somebody comments on that even. Hey, Joe Bob! Yeah, never underestimate my ability to take a long time. I believe in you, little bird. <clears throat> this is totally the bird that was on my head coming through the snow thing. Joe Bob, thank you for following. <coughs> I do cherish this bird. Oh, it's all tired! Alright, where is Onion Sam? No, this is not it. Onion Sam, you're in here somewhere, right? I think. Yeah, the first human definitely falls in the ruins in the same place in the same way. How do I get to Onion Sand? Oh, after the bird. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys. This is a great thing of me being like, am I going the wrong way? And you're like, yes. And I'm like, cool. Teamwork. Hey, Fieldy, you made it. You missed me crying, though, like a baby. Oh, my God. I... Wasn't, I knew there was going to be something, because everyone's like, Lauren, there's a thing. There's a thing. Can I tell you where to go to find the thing? And I was like, no. But I was like, okay, there's a thing. I was not prepared. So from here? Rest assured, Argenthorn, I cried. A lot. Like. Oh my god, that child. Just wait until I sing the song for you guys that I've been working on. Some of you helped me with lyrics. Um, it has a lot more poignancy than I thought. Random ferret. Any ferret is a good ferret. Random ferret. You're not Herbie, are you? Thanks, Planet Keegan. I 
found it. Come on, onion sand. Oh, what a cute face. My favorite music. That. <gasps> It's the sweet one! It's the one who tucked me in! I guess Shiren doesn't say anything, but I think she's happy. That's not lemon bread. That's not lemon bread! I thought... No, lemon bread is the one that you flex at. This is the one that tucks you into bed. No, that's not lemon bread. That's different. Are you sure? Lemon bread? You killed me so many times, I had to watch the VHS tapes again because of you! Yeah, but I didn't know that major monotone. <laughs> I thought I did. Well, I hope I find the tuck-in monster. Oh, well, that's still awesome. Lemon bread, I forgive you. I forgive you for being really hard. I've, ha I've played enough games where you have to do a thing to trigger a thing, and I was like, this feels important. If, it tr if it's a trigger, I have to make sure that I've got it. on my um on my YouTube. I'll try to do this with something else in my computer. I'm gonna be playing Mother 3 next. I'm really excited. So next week at 7 p.m. Central we're gonna do Mother 3 and I'm gonna cry some more. Oh my god. I don't- okay, I, I think Aaron's funny, especially because apparently he's a Breath of Fire 3 reference, and that's really adorable. Um. Um. How does- okay, how does- okay, just turn the music off in my ears. How does this one go? Da, 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 da. Oh wait, never mind, I can't do that because I can't do the thing! Never mind!
That's Asriel's theme, isn't it? Is this Asriel, though? Yeah, I wondered if it was. Yeah. But is this him in his... Whatever his super form was? cover of it wasn't terribly accurate and I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Random ferret, thank you! So it was... I wondered if it was Asriel. Transforms. Oh my god, that sounds really cool. Now have to remember between left and right. Okay, I don't think that's going to do anything. I thought I went all the way down there. Okay, too, too many Melibi or Melibi. You definitely, you definitely win a nerd thing. I have the official Earthbound strategy guide that my sister gave me for Christmas this year. Um, I don't have it in this room, actually. Darn. Oh, but I do have something I can show off. Fan Gamer is like my favorite fan company. Because... They do a lot of really cool things, including, ah, yes, where are they? That's not the, not the one I want. See, it's Locke and Sully's. I have priorities in my life in Final Fantasy VI. Obviously, I'm really partial to Heartache because I made my band play it. Um, I don't know. There really aren't any bad songs in the game. This song really fits this moment, you know? Spirit just... Oh, hey! Yeah! <laughs> no, but I said it wasn't, Aaron. 
fellow. Hopes and Dreams is a good song. I'm trying to figure out what else to make my band play um, to fill out our Undertale medley. Probably gonna have three songs. And I can't figure out. No, I haven't heard Megalovania. I'm probably gonna listen to it, but I wanted to beat the whole game. Um, Death by Glamour is a really good song. Stolen Light! That is a great name! longest time my alarm um, song, I had my my CD player set to play um, the opening theme to Vision of Escaflone, um, which is this bum 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 bum, but it's just like really like happy, upbeat like piano chords. It's hard to listen to that and wake up and not be in a good mood, so. Battle Against a True Hero, I heard people talk about that, oh, the song. And I was like... Battle against a true hero. That's gotta be fighting Undyne, but I don't think that's the name of what I fought her with. And I wasn't. Yeah, I just, like, the music's all really good. Like, what don't you do? You know, what don't you cover? Ah! Ah! I forgot about you when you said! Ah! I don't have a Wii U to play Splatoon. The newest console that I have is an Xbox 360. I never even got a PS4 or PS3. I want to cover all the songs. I have a plan, actually. I have a secret plan. I'm trying to decide if I can sit on the secret or not. Good night, Major Monotone. Thanks for hanging out. I don't think I can do it. I don't really want to watch it, you know? I went wrong. I got distracted by chat, guys, and now I got stuck. <coughs> I mean, if I want to answer my questions about the first child, because I've got a lot of questions about the first child and a lot of theories about the first child, um, I can ask people. figure it out. They're massive incandescent gas, obviously. I don't know where I'm trying to go. Doing that phantomosity, but I, I don't think I want to see it actually. I think that it would wreck me emotionally in a way that I don't think I want to do. So, rooting against the character is actually a really interesting idea, but I don't know. I just I don't I don't think I want to. You know. Yeah, Carlos is really good at jazz. talk to you about all of these things, I think. But see, like, so it's tempting to do it, but that, does that make it the right thing to do? You know? Hotland. It's funny, I've had an equal number of people trying to pressure me into doing the genocide run and not doing the genocide run. So... And the thing is, watching it is kind of the same, isn't it? I mean, it's not quite the same because you're not quite doing it, but... Yeah, I feel like I got enough about the first child talking to Azrael. And I might find out what happens in it, but I don't 
want to do it. See, you say, oh well, it's just a video game. Things have a certain life for me that make it impossible for me to say it's just a video game. Also, I don't think I can kill Toriel. See, that's the thing, like, he made extra content and I, I don't want to experience it. Um... So, okay, I'm asking you again, guys, do I have to go through the jump puzzle to talk to anybody else? Because I'll do it. I'll do it to talk to people. I will put myself through more puzzles. I don't know cucumber quests, but I'm intrigued. So I want to go through here, that's what you're saying. Okay, I'm gonna do it then. Oh wait, okay. Oh wait, there's elevators? Elevators, yes. Thanks guys. What would I do without you? Backtrack unnecessarily even more than usual? DJ Sonic Buster, hey! What's up? Talk to the Temmies. Last time. Already recorded some guitar for me to sing to you guys with. 
I'm sorry you won't get to hear that. That's okay. We'll talk tomorrow about it. Nala's tea party is cool. The rest of you who are Europeans- Oh! Oh! Look! There's somebody else! Benedict's Ryuk. this one already. I like text adventures. I grew up on graphical text adventures. Um, played a lot of the Sierra games. Um, King's Quest was my favorite. staircase and like cover our heads every time something was scary. Um. I already did that guys. I don't think I've heard of Stein's Gate. I thought I went past the stage already. 
Oh my god, no, I will not play the seventh guest. Thank you very much. That game traumatized me for life. To such oh you're right, there are seats there. To such a degree. scared me so badly when I was a kid I couldn't like I couldn't fall asleep I couldn't wiggle my toes I was like so afraid that I like went to see a movie years later like as an adult that had a special effect that was the same the hands pressing through the walls and it was like a comedy thing it was like one of the Disney horror things and I'm just like burst into tears and had a breakdown in the theater so no seventh guest for me no thank you and I know the kid of the guy who composed the music and I was like hey tell your dad that his music scarred me for life Oh man, that was scary. Yeah, Metaton has a dress when he's doing the Final Fantasy VI opera scene. Nocturne, you don't understand. When I say things never leave me, they never leave me. This is why I can't play Genocide Run. When things really bother me, like, they will always be here, and they will always be here, and nothing I can do, and no amount of time passage, no amount of age, nothing will make them go away. So. It's actually kind of a comedy, but it was a, it's a horror comedy, but it scared me so much. <sighs> Yay! A spider baseball field! Excellent spiders! I can't horror game. I can't do horror anything. I just, I can't do it. Like... Things give me nightmares for my life. You know, I thought I was gonna do Lisa, but people have told me that maybe I don't want to. Yeah, Tiger Crush plays the scary games when I'm not home. Or just the really unsettling ones. This ain't Falco, who is it then? Yeah, Space Cadet, I think that would be me. I haven't played Ori in the Blind Forest. I've heard really good things about it though. That's kind of on my list of games I'm considering. Okay, things that are not good for my mental health are probably not good for me to play. Um, because that's actually a concern for me. I did? Well, okay, I watched Tiger Crush play the Ace Attorney games, and they were really funny. Yeah, I'm trying to decide, because I was thinking I was going to do Mother 3 next, and then Lisa, and then, but I don't guess maybe I won't do Lisa. Yeah, my minutes played is ridiculous, and here I am talking to you guys, man. Whoever watches me play this on YouTube... Hey, YouTube people, I'm sorry that I take so long. <laughs> I want to play Majora's Mask, actually. Tiger Crush doesn't have the patience to do it, because um, it's too repetitive, but I don't have a problem with that, so I really want to I really want to play it. Hey, Kay, we're actually about to... I think we're about to beat it. I don't want to play a creepy game. XCOM. I watched Tiger Crush play XCOM. He loves them. They are not for me. I, I, I would be interested in streaming Ori, especially like if it... Wait, did I skip the core? Are there people in the core? I'm trying to talk to everyone. I thought I did the core already. I think I probably did. Oh, I super get attached to things in a really kind of crazy direction. Yeah, I did half the epilogue earlier. I couldn't 
find the mercenaries. I looked for them. I consider a brother is like the main character the character that I most relate to is Papyrus. I was like, actually that doesn't surprise me. The problem with Super Nintendo games is I've played a lot of them already and it's not the same. Um you know? Wait! Those are open! They weren't open before, guys! And their super form. They took it from here. And so it must have been mummified, must have been wrapped, and then they took it out. <coughs> so that's why, because there was somebody in there, because it wasn't that it was empty, it was the first child's. <sighs> okay. I figured it out. I think. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got a little worked up there. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I just get really excited. I have to talk a lot. <laughs> I forget that I talk too fast. Um. Zombarine, thanks for the follow. I do talk really fast and I forget about it because I think most of the people that I know in real life know me. So. Yes, I tried calling you all the time.
I don't... I don't know! This is a really big question! It's okay, she gets it. <sighs> like, you gotta understand, I ship young Toriel and Asgore really hard. I really, really like them when they're young. Really, really like them. But I think I'd go with maybe, probably not. You know? They're like the best couple pre their children die. I love them so much when they're young. So much! Um, okay, I actually love Asgore. I think he's really interesting. Um, and I feel for him. <coughs> um, but I don't think they're gonna get together anytime soon. You know? I know. <sighs> yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, no, I've noticed that people really like to make jokes about Asgore. I don't know when that started, but... Yeah, no, I love that everybody has, has their favorite ships. Like, I seriously, seriously ship them so hard as kids. Well, not as kids, as younger people. You could just not ship anyone. You know, I'm gonna say I actually really like that that she hasn't to these guys. best friend. Um, and that's pretty awkward too, but... <sighs> We're gonna probably do some art before we shut down tonight, so... <laughs> don't do that! Oh god, please don't do that. That leads to all sorts of weird music conventions. You already...
god. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. <coughs> oh my god, I love the look at her face. Look at those eyebrows. Hey, now using fire magic to heat up tea can have unintended consequences. I've watched Avatar The Last Airbender. Butterscotch cinnamon pie if I could. Alright, here we go. And bring our friends with us. <laughs> 